Hi everyone, Jenna here. So, this vlog is really, really important to me. This is a point that I have been facing throughout my whole life until now and this morning it started to unlock. And so I want to share this video, but to be honest, this is primarily for me <laughs> so that I can always come back here and remind myself of this point of self-fulfillment. So what happened this morning was I was in bed and I gave myself five minutes five minutes to focus on my breathing. And as I was breathing in, breathing out, I sensed um, kind of an emptiness in my chest as if, although I was breathing, there was still a lack within me. Uh, something was missing, like a hole in my chest area. So I, I kind of looked into that and the word that came to my mind was fulfillment. Then I, I, was, I saw that my relationship with the word self-fulfillment has been related to my career, to my studies, to my professional activities. And despite all the things that I've been doing this far, there is still this lack, this sense of missing, this emptiness in my chest area, but it's actually my whole experience within me. And so this far, my starting point to decide on a career or to actually do something has been to kind of fill this space in. But guess what? This space or this lack, it is an idea. It's actually not real. This idea that I need something outside of me to fulfill myself, to, for me to be complete, it is not real. <laughs> so this is kind of amazing. And maybe you don't relate to that, but those of you who have been trying to do things to fulfill yourselves, you know what I'm talking about. And you know how, t how tiring it can be to keep chasing something and to find like an area of studies, of work, and then say, yes, this is it. This is how I'm going to fulfill myself. This is how I will feel complete. And then time passes and you're not feeling that. You're actually feeling again into that point of, oh, I, keep on, I need to keep on searching. I, I need to do more. I need to study more just to be complete again. But it's never going to happen because it's always something dependent on our external reality when in fact... Who I am, and this is something that I'm kind of realizing, who I am is I am complete. I am fulfilled just with myself, with allowing myself to be here and to, to be me. And I'm still learning and understanding what it actually means to be here, to be myself, to give myself permission to be myself. Um, and all those ideas that I had about its fulfillment was just a lot of noise around my whole journey. And, and I was actually speaking with my, my buddy this morning about this point, and I saw the catch-22, which is I, I perceive that I'm lacking, that I have a hole, in this case, like in this chest area, that I need to do something to fulfill that. But then what happens is I tend to then postpone so as if until I do something, until I, until I start a project or I do something, I will not feel fulfilled. But then I am constantly postponing myself and I'm constantly creating this hole even deeper. It's just too confusing and it doesn't need to be like that. So I'm, I'm actually going to write my blogs on this point because I see that a lot of myself, of my decisions thus far, have been from the starting point of feeling whole, of feeling fulfilled, and that will never going to happen. So I can almost imagine if I was not um, becoming aware of this point, I would likely spend my whole life searching for something outside of me, trying lots of career path, uh, probably lots of relationships just to get that experience of fulfillment that will never come. In some of you, you might have this experience with relationships. Um, I don't have so much that point because early in my life, in my teenage, teenage years, I realized that this perception that another person would fulfill me uh, was actually not real because I was in a relationship 
and eventually I went to, to, to I, I went to a different country and I was okay. So I realized actually that person does not complete me. We are okay, we're better together, but I'm okay by myself again as, as well. So that was something I, lear I learned pretty early. And, uh, and my relationship that I have now with my husband is, is not, we're not, we do not depend on each other to, to be ourselves. But I see that relationships with other people can be also um, kind of a mirror of this uh, relationship of, of lack, of not feeling fulfilled and thinking that someone will occupy that space. But guess what? If you don't have an empty space within you, if you don't have that, then there's no need for anyone to actually occupy it. We're creating this lack within us and trying to find ways to, um, to, uh, to fulfill that space, but the space doesn't need to exist in the first place for as long as I allow myself to see that it is an idea, it's not real. And I'm saying this a lot, but it is true. It's just like thinking that uh, you need someone else for you to feel okay with yourself. That's not the point. There are uh, probably that projection of something that you need is um, actually hiding other things about you uh, that you're not looking because it's easier to say that if I have that, I will be better. And a lot of this is then being used in our society with consumerism, for instance, where people say, if you don't have this, if you don't buy this, you're not going to feel happy or it's not you, or you need this um, to, to be better or, um, or to be happier. But it's not the point, <laughs> you see, because who we are as stable individuals, as complete, it's not dependent on, that, on those ideas of lacking and of need. There is obviously the basic needs that we uh, we need in our lives to survive in terms of physical conditions and supportive environments, food, shelter, water. Uh, but this is beyond that. It is mainly um, perceptions that we have created about our lives, about who we are, that we're less and therefore we need something outside of, of us to uh, make us feel okay and the best of us. This is a really cool point because once you realize that actually that idea is not real, then you start embracing yourself uh, and your decisions and you um, kind of start enjoying yourself and really ask yourself self-honesty, how do I want to create my life since there's nothing lacking but what do I really want to create? What do I want to add on to my existing life? Who do I want to become? Um, what else can I do in my life to be better, like a better version of myself? And that is all about creation. It's not about trying to fulfill a space that it wasn't there in the first place, but it's about expanding myself, my world. Um, and my, in, if I, uh, my decisions now are based on this creation point, then even if I don't do something according to the plan, it's still okay. It's still something that I'm adding on to myself. Uh, but I can always go back to my, myself, my, my groundness, my basis, which is me, here, <laughs> stable, complete, just by myself and just by breathing and being here. Cool. Um, I hope this video is helpful. I will, um, I will share some more points. I'll put some videos on the, uh, an interview on the description that was really cool for me to kind of open up this point um, and I'll also uh, post some, some blogs about it. All right, enjoy the journey and see you next time. Thank you.